This is Bobby Hester on behalf of ExpertVillage.com. In this next clip, we're going to demonstrate some different techniques for cleaning a keyboard. Uh, two of my favorite products are uh, my electronic wipes and the uh, pressure sprayer. Uh, also for a keyboard, I, I purchased a toothbrush just for my electronics uh, so that you can clean in the, the tight little crevices. Uh, we'll start with this, the sprayer. And uh, the sprayer is great for getting like little hairs if you have pets, hairs out of the, the center of the, the keys and stuff that's really down at the bottom that's hard to reach with anything else. Uh, the spray works great. So you just stick it down there and just spray it all that dust and it just flies out of there. Okay, the next one would be the electronic wipes. These have a slight coating of alcohol on them. And uh, both these products are flammable also, so you need to be aware of that. Uh, so don't have an open flame or cigarette or anything around it when you're using these. The, the wipes are great. They, they just cut through all the, the grime and the dust and, and everything that's on the keyboard. It's safe. It has uh, properties that make the static stay way down. And uh, it'll also prevent dust or, or slow down the collection of dust in the future. So the wipes are just great. And you just wipe down the whole keyboard and get in every, every little crevice and all the dust out. Uh, let's say that there's a piece of dust or something or that's a little bit harder that the spray can't quite uh, reach or it's too, too heavy for the spray to get out. I like to use the toothbrush or any kind of brush that's as long as it's a small brush. And it really gets in between the keys and gets all the junk out from in between the keys. And you also need to make sure that you have your keyboard unplugged from the computer when you do this uh, because of static, uh, chances of static electricity build up. And you don't want to be typing <laughs> on your computer or possibly messing something up while you're trying to clean it. So, so we just work the toothbrush back and forth and pretty soon there you have it. You have a clean keyboard once again.